Now, in this closing message, in this series, part five, I want to talk a little bit about how to operate in two realms. So I'm just uh, uh, calling this sermon operating in two realms. So what we want to do in this sermon is try to understand a few simple things that we need to keep in mind as believers as we are in this tension of a duality of existence, meaning we are trying to live in two realms. How do we operate successfully in two realms? That's what we want to understand today. So let's look at these four points or four insights or four principles. Number one is simply develop your whole person, spirit, soul, and body. Develop your whole person, spirit, soul, and body. So as believers, we must understand the importance of developing our whole person, spirit, soul, and body. If you want to be a person of influence and impact, if you want to be a person who can really, truly transform the world and have an impact on the world before you go to heaven, then you must develop your whole person, spirit, soul, and body. If you only develop your spirit and you don't know how to engage the world, then really, you know, the 70, 80, 90 years that you spent on earth, how are you going to impact the world? Because you know, it, 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 we need to engage the world in natural ways, in meaningful ways. So uh, uh, understand that God is not against the natural. In fact, God created the natural. So don't feel guilty investing into the natural, your natural part, whether it's your mind or your body. Don't feel guilty if you're enjoying the natural things God has put around us. He designed it. He created it for our enjoyment. Enjoy it. I know our life here on earth is short, but don't feel guilty about engaging in the natural. You know, so remember, you need a strong, healthy body and a healthy mind if you're going to serve the Lord. And understand this, that spiritual resources are released through natural means. Number two is this, learn to blend the spiritual and the practical. Learn to blend the spiritual and the practical. Don't think that the spiritual and the practical are opposed to each other. They're not. There's a difference between the flesh and the spirit. We're not talking about the flesh. We're talking about the practical, the natural. The spiritual and the natural, let them learn how to blend it together. These are not enemies. God designed both. God created the natural. God created the spiritual. So the spiritual and natural, let them blend together in your life. The way you live life, let it be a symphony. Let it be a perfect blend of the spiritual and the practical. Number three is to dominate the natural through the spiritual. Uh, the third point here is this. As believers, in our duality of existence, as we try to connect both realms, we must learn to dominate the natural with the spiritual. That means, you see, in the natural, we're going to face all kinds of situations, all kinds of circumstances. You're going to find obstacles coming along your path. Uh, you're going to find, uh, uh, you know, hard situations, difficulties, problems created by people who are trying to hinder you or trying to obstruct you or who don't understand what you're doing. Uh, you're going to find the enemy coming against you, trying to hinder you, doing all those things. So there are the things you're going to face in the natural. Uh, there are dilemmas, there are difficult decisions, there are problems to resolve. Uh, and we must learn to address the natural from the spiritual. Number four is simply this, handle the temporal in view of the eternal. In this duality of existence, it's operating two worlds. You know, don't stress yourself out with you know, things that people say and do. Just say, you know, in the light of eternity, those things don't matter. When you stand before the judgment seat of Christ, Jesus is not going to ask you, what did so and so say about you? Or what was, the peop what was your reputation on earth? Did everybody clap for you? Did they say nice things about you? He's not going to ask any of it. Not one single word anybody spoke about you on earth is going to matter before the judgment seat of Christ. Doesn't matter. Or there, what matters is, did you honor the Lord with your life? Did you do what He wanted you to do? So don't even be bothered about your reputation. Who cares what people say about you? Because in the light of eternity, it means nothing. 
absolutely nothing. So don't sweat yourself about it. You know, handle the temporal in view of the eternal. 